I'm here uh, Kareem Butter, um, asking some questions. So, um, what was the hardest part about opening you guys' business? Well, <clears throat> the hardest part, one of the hardest parts was, uh, of course, getting licensed. It just took time. It's, it's just really time consuming. <clears throat> and also getting the cosmetology license. What was it, the hardest? And also, even though. So basically, he was talking about funding and illegality and the money. So, like, when you guys were starting up, what was, like, how did you guys get through those tough times when, like, you know, like, when it was, like when, this shop, right? yeah, like, like, just, like, even before, like, when you guys were just starting up, like, just, um, getting started cutting and stuff, like, what made you, like, keep going and stuff, like, even though, like, when you guys, it was hard. yeah. Well, uh. I guess just <clears throat> seeing other bar barbers off island, like in the states, just pushed us to, to 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 make warm like that. You know what I mean? To have that vibe, that barber that barber scene here. So that's what kept kept the drive going. You know what I mean? Just just to keep pushing <clears throat> and and showing that Guam can have a a different barber scene, not just you know that typical barber shop. Yeah, a lot, a lot has to do with the guys um, that are doing it now and have to be successful. That keeps us going. I mean, there's possibilities. I mean, they can do it. They can do it. I mean, you know, no matter location, they got a online social media stuff going on, so you can connect easily. So, so that, that, that was the drive. That was a drive that was in our head, you know, just to keep pushing and making sure that. We get that that kind of vibe, the kind of spaces. And the number one thing is passion. Basically, I was talking about passion and having a passion for the craft. So, what made you get into a passion for uh, cutting hair? Like, what what started what started it all? Like, how did you guys get into it? You know, <clears throat> it was really um, man, just 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 loving the craft. Uh, how we got started was we started in the garage pretty much, and um, it wasn't really we didn't really like know that we're gonna open a barbershop but we just kept doing it because it was it was fun it was you know it was like less it, it was stress free for us like every time we every time we cut we feel like there's no stress so you know we, we decided to um <clears throat> get our license and that was that was it that was it yeah pretty much just like any like a group of uh, homies right we share the same thing with all the energy together, it's like, yeah, you know, you can't stop. Especially, especially the support. Oh yeah, hundred percent. You know what I mean? Like the support, just I mean, you feed off, off each other easy. Yep. You know, you gotta feel all the time. You know, someone's down. We're watching each other. Like, oh, let's get this. You know, all the time. Man. Yeah. You're not gonna let each other down, or you wanna create something as the as the boys. You know. Something like that. <laughs> 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 so, 
What's the most funnest thing about like uh, having your own shop and and like like doing this all, you know, like uh, getting all this together and stuff? The funnest part. For me, for uh, well, for me, like the best <clears throat> the best part of opening, opening my own shop is uh, just doing what, you know whatever you want, whatever you want to do with it. Of course, all legit, but just. Was it appreciated? Uh, was like the best part. The best part. Yeah. Just coming in every day and meeting new people. You know what I mean? Just owning your stuff. You can do whatever you want. You're making your own schedule. You know, make your time. And you learn how to be. How do you call this? Self-sufficient. You can find ways to grow, or you can just slow down. Yeah. But of course, the only way is up. Yeah. So. And, and just being your own boss. Pretty much, you Pretty know. Much it's just the best part of that's the best part. <laughs> Being your own boss for sure. We had had our fair share of you know, like work. You know, we were in a restaurant, so we we knew how it is to work for under someone, but now working for yourself is like it's a different, different. it's a different lifestyle. Especially if you love it, you know what I mean. If you love what you do, that's just the best. Uh, getting cash is the extra, you know what I mean. So that's that's what I love. That's what we love coming every day, Much. seeing all the, all the new faces, different clients, having the talks with conversation, you know, with the, with the, with the clients, that's pretty much it. Great. Yeah, pretty much. So how did you, how did you know uh, Guam needed cream and butter in like a shop like this? How did you guys know, like, you know, like, how did you know this was a spot that was gonna boom like this, you know? Well, you know, when we were younger, we didn't really have uh, barbers to get us fresh, you know what I mean? But that's when we knew, like, yo, Guam needs to step it up. You know what I mean? Guam needs to have us a little something, like, not only what the states have, but so we can have that vibe, you know? True, true. I mean, I can, we can say that it's the only shop, kind of, not only shop, but there's a lot. But it sets that mood. Once you walk in, the you, you know, that ambiance, the, the vibes. And, you know, back in the day, we didn't have, we didn't have nothing like that yet. And we dope to have. I've been, we've been waiting, but if no one does it, then you got to do some, you know, do it yourself. So, yeah. Yeah, and also like, uh, how do we know Guam needed it? You know, Guam just needed a, a barber shop where you can walk, you know, where you can make an appointment and have that one-on-one -on -one conversation with your barber, you know, because we're, we're, we're actually like counselors, sports, yeah, sports yeah, therapists, yeah, you, know, and, you know, just, we're cheaper too, you know, so we knew that Guam needed something like that, you know what I mean? Not just an in and out barbershop, 10 minutes when you need fade. You know, but we want to get to know our clients more, so, you know, we, we become friends, you know? Like, pretty much. So, like, what do you want in the future for Guam and, like, the hair scene? You know what I mean? Like, cutting the barbers and, like, what would you want to see, like, Guam get to, like, in a way. Like the future for like cutting hair on Guam and stuff. Oh, there's a lot. Well, yeah, but for us, like, how I want to see the, the barber industry in Guam is uh, just network more, you know, have, uh, but not, not, not like be more competitive, but just to support each, each one, you know, like, that's what, that's what I want. The, the Guam barbers to, to have. Yeah, for, for future, right? Yeah, for the future. I guess more shops because there's so much people on Guam. Yeah. Not one shop can take over. Yeah. On Guam, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> have like, you know. Like this vibe, you know. Passion. The love for it, you know. So, it, with that being said, you know, 
hopefully it grows to another level and we can go like international, you know? And just grow that. Not only that, but spread the, what's that? That phrase, passion over paychecks, you know? Mm -hmm. But what you do, money comes, it's a bonus. It'll come, it'll come. But sticking with what you love, it, it gives a longevity of whatever mm -hmm. your goal is. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> so like what makes you guys like come in and go hard every day and cut people's hair and like stay motivated and stuff you know what I mean like well what, what keeps me motivated um, every day is of course uh, just the love the love and just consistency like I want to <clears throat> see consistency all the time every time I cut especially on my new clients, like, that's what makes me go hard, you know, just to see my haircut out out in the street and like, what? I cut that sh you know what I mean? Yeah. And just for the family, you know what I mean? Like, making sure, making sure the family eats and, you know, that's, that's number one priority just for the family, because I love kids. You know what I mean? Same, same here, man. I mean, if you love it, you don't have to end. It's just gonna keep going and going and going, you know. And now that it becomes our livelihood, we need to do it too to support ourselves, our family, kids, my family. I said that, but yeah, pretty much. You said this is going hard every day. Every day, you know. I got someone to support. I got myself to support. I got business partners to support. And we got and we want to put in the map. Yeah, mm -hmm. put on the map international. So that's what makes it so hard. Pretty much every day. It, it, it comes, first comes with the individual, you know, each other, and then as a group, oh man, that's like. Dream team. Yeah. You know? Team. It's a brotherhood, right? Yeah. 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 Love the game. <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, what, do you, what can you, like, what do you want people to know, like, when you guys open, uh, how could they get booked for haircuts? And like, where can they find you guys and stuff? Anything you want people to know? So you can like... Just like a free plug. Oh, uh, you know what I mean, like your Instagram, yeah, well, stuff like that, and how to how they There's a lot of ways. So first of all, of course, there's like re referrals first. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. That's number one. That's the that's one of the most um, effective. We call it um, effective uh, marketing. So word of mouth is one of the best marketing. Of course, social media. Second, social Second. media. Ooh, well, ooh. IG, man, honestly, IG, it's, it's, it's free, you know? So, it's free. man, just fucking, you can just sponsor everything nowadays. You don't need to put it on the newspaper or in the, or in the on, on TV, you know? Because you got to pay, like, just like thousand, thousand a day or some shit, so. And our shop, our industry is haircuts, you know, if you want to see. Yeah, so is visuals. It, is it true? Yeah. So there's, yeah. You want to see some pictures on Instagram? It's like mm -hmm. that's the word. That's what it is, you know. So like, they gotta see it to believe it. Now they gotta come in to experience it. Yep. So how do they get a haircut from you guys? Well, um, <clears throat> you can book through our app. We have an app online. That's an easier way. You can, you can see through. Um, you can see actually our schedule three months ahead. So you have that time to book and plan ahead. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's how. That's how they, you can book with us. And we also have a telephone, of course. 99-287, Korean Butter. Oh, yeah. Wait, isn't it? Open seven days a week. Seven days a week. And seven, yeah. Yeah. seven days a week. Seven days a week. So, it was, it was open. You know what I mean? Stay open. We got to get going fresh. That's the number one rule. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Social media. Social media. All, All right. There it is. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for the interview. Yeah, it was awesome. Thank you. It was fun. Thank you, man. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah.